so hello guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this map animation from johnny harris youtube video the most important country you never heard about and for this i will be using a free vector map so there's no need there won't be any need for a plugin but if you have the geolias it will be nice to create it with geolias because it will give you more details while we'll be using a free vector map for this so looking at the example of the video we're going to be creating from johnny harris you can see these lines animating over here these are submarine cables or undersea cables which is how we get over 90 percent of our internet and voice and connectivity in general which connects different country the animation here was done using a data like a geo json or a geo special data to animate this but I couldn't find anyone and because we'll be using a free vector map, there won't be any need for this. So I'm going to we have to draw this manually. And for these dotted lines moving over here, which signifies ship moving over the streets, there are several ways you can do this, but I will show you two methods. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss out on that. Thank you. So inside of After Effects, I'm going to create a new composition 1920 by 1080. I'm just going to make the duration 20 seconds import my map as a composition layer size then also bring in my this paper texture map i'm going to bring the paper texture first then click on this drop down here to bring in my my map so i'm just going to extend this to like 12 seconds then make the both of them 3d and don't forget to click on this icon here to make your map continuous rasterization and because our paper texture is png or a raster image it won't there won't be any icon for that so after that i'm just going to select the both of them and then click on them and there you have it so the next thing also don't forget to also do the same thing here also so the next thing we need to do is to draw our line so for that we're going to zoom into the particular place in our particular place you want to do that so i'm just going to press s to bring up the scale and p so that we can scale down and we're going to scale down like this then i'm just going to bring in our reference image here so i'm just going to be trying to create these lines here so we'll just go back to our main comp here and i'll zoom in so to draw this line i'm just going to click on our pen tool here then click on the edge of this map and make sure nothing is selected so it doesn't become a max i'm just going to click on our pen tool to select make our our stroke here to two pixels then change this to black and i'm going to click on the edge here click here then i'm going to go click on the drop down too so we are going to create all our shape inside all our stroke inside this same shape layer so i'm just going to stick click so we don't want it to connect so it's just going to be another shape layer i'm just going to so we have a second shape then i'm going to come to this shape too open go down to the part then select my go down to my selection to select this one here then adjust this to the beginning like this make sure everything is coming from the same point then instead of creating this one one i'm just going to duplicate this go down to the parts separate it from the main one Separate it like this. Then go back to your selection tool to align it. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to duplicate it a bunch of times then do this. So I'm just going to speed this up. So once you're done drawing your line i'm just going to draw the second one i'm not going to draw everything especially this one i'm just going to draw this second one here then 
then we'll move on to the dotted lines here so i'll just quickly do that also just like what we did the first time I'm just going to click on my pen tool now i'll do this in the second shape there not in this first one again i'm just going to click here So once you're done drawing that click on and make them 3d then select the both of them and parent them to your precom the army map here then the next thing we're going to do is that we are going to add the trim parts to it so come down here and i'm going to add the trim part to all to the the shape layer not each of the stroke down below i'm just going to click here click on the shape layer then click on this add then go down to trim parts then at the beginning of our timeline here i'm going to create a keyframe which is 100%, that 100% I'll drag it down to like 3 seconds or so then, I'm still, at the, still at the beginning of our timeline, I'm just going to bring this down to create an automatic keyframe and now you can see, so now we have this nice animation here I'm just going to copy this, I'm going to make it easy is copy it and go up to the first one and paste it paste that there and I need to drag it out to so now when i press play you can see our animation spreading out or drawing up so i'm not going to draw the lines so that this animation doesn't take a lot of time so we'll move on to the next part so for the dotted lines there are actually two methods i want to show you but for this video because i don't want it to be too long i'm going to break this down i'm going to make a part of this video to show you the other method which is much better so for the second for the dotted lines i'm just going to turn this off for now then for that i'm just going to still go back to our pen tool and this time i'll make my stroke here eight seconds I'm just going to click here and hold it so it brings out our busy handles do the same thing for here so once you have your line drawn as you want it all you need to do is go down to your shape go down to the stroke then where you see dash click on this dash once then click on it again to bring in dash and gap now when we zoom in you see that it's kind of squared my resolution i'm zooming in so that's why my resolution is poor so I'm just going to make this line cap about a round cap, then bring down our dash down to zero, then increase this amount here. Let me increase my my stroke to ten or maybe twelve. Twelve will do. So now to animate this, what you need to do is we're going to animate the offset part. You can stretch the gap as much as you want and read, um, contrast it as much as you want oh i think oh this is fine so i'll set the keyframe at the beginning of our timeline here then go forward a bit i'm going to increase the length of my and go forward a bit then make them move the offset like minus 90 i think that's 90 percent or 90 pixels so now when you play this back you can see our lines moving so to make this more you can also duplicate this second shape here go down to the part and use your selection to to separate it so next i'm going to add a trim part to to this also here i'm just going to create a keyframe for this end parameter here then go back to the beginning of my timeline then take it back it doesn't have to be zero percent entirely then i'm also going to add an opacity an opacity keyframe here will be 100 or let's say it's something percent then move it down to the beginning and then make this zero so let me play this back for you to see and also don't forget to make it 3d and also pairing this to your main map and this is what we have so this might not be exactly like what johnny harris has but because you are working with a free vector map this will do and this looks okay so you can add more animations to this and do add more textures and more keyframes and so to animate this map before i do that actually i'll need to change my lines to 
I'll change that to red. So I'll just change the stroke to red here and do that for the second. You can also increase the size. Let me just increase this to maybe three, three pixels. So I'm just going to create a new camera, go to new, or you can use layer, new camera. Then make it one node, 35 millimeter, no depth of field, and click OK. Change yours if you want. Then I'm going to stretch this down. So I'm just going to press R while I click at the camera layer, and then hold down Shift and press P to bring up the position parameter. And I'm going to set the keyframe for the position and the S rotation. Then I'm going to press Caps Lock so that every, um, my animation is go, it's not going to render until I'm done typing what I'm typing. So I'm just going to make the rotation here 58. The first parameter on the position, I'm going to make that 12, 10. The second one, 10, 98. And this final one here, I'm going to make it 2, 2, 8. And now we have, we zoomed out, I made the S rotation so that it's slanty. Just like what, what you're supposed to do on Julius. So I'm just going to go down to like, six or seven seconds here six or seven seconds depending on what you want i'll press my caps lock again then change all this parameter again so this time i'm going to change my x rotation to 38 make the first parameter on the position 1180 the second one 1433 and the last one minus 1038 So I'm just going to play this back for you to see what you have here. So you can make further changes to what you have. I'm just showing you the basics and just the example of how you can do this. So if you've watched up to this point and this video was helpful, please kindly subscribe to my channel 